basically uh, the whole Debbie and Enchilada is all about running a business and when you go in to run a business you find out that you need phones and you need a fax and you need a way to keep track of employees and you've got payroll You've got customers you want to keep track of in a database. And uh, in our case, we want to do network distribution with Wi Fi and other types of things to distribute the phones, whether they be wired or wireless. So we've got online billing issues. And uh, we want to be able to, in a lot of cases, to do calendars and scheduling. And all of these things <clears throat> cost a lot of money. And a lot of time and a lot of different softwares to go together to make them work. And uh, this list just goes on for pages and pages. And so the goal is to roll all that into one integrated package ultimately. Right now the framework is built there. And most people are interested in currently the phones and the online Wi-Fi billing and distribution and chili spot and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and eventually here I'm going to get on video the explanations of how to install this how to set it up how to set up your PayPal how to flash and configure routers And we will, of course, set up the whole enchilada server. Then we'll talk about desktops versus slice host. So eventually, in little 10 minute video increments, I will break down these subjects and more, but just giving you an idea of where I'm going with these videos. And I looked into the whole Camtasia program and that's an awesome looking program, but it's just as complicated as doing what I'm doing right now and I can film my computer screen and show what's going on there too. So I feel like I can communicate more data in a faster time this way, as crude as it may be. So apologize for the amateur quality of this video so basically to start with we want to understand just our overall network theory for Wi-Fi distribution and billing and the main idea is that somewhere here we've got the internet and this is we're going to connect into this and somewhere off of the internet we've got this enchilada server and then somewhere else on the internet or even locally but we could have an access point which is transmitting Wi-Fi and then some other places We have these little repeaters. And these repeaters can actually uplink to your access point and then to like zoom in on a repeater to what's going on with it. If we take say a Buffalo router. And 
this Buffalo router has an uplink SSID that it's picking up either by we manually programmed it into the physical interface or we turned on auto AP and it scanned and picked up either another repeater or the access point and that's its uplink to get this router the internet to it <clears throat> and then now this router is going to transmit some signals and it actually is going to transmit one two or three it actually could even transmit a fourth signal but I generally make it transmit three and what happens is the first one the first virtual interface that's my chili spot interface and whatever SSID I program on that first virtual interface is going to be the SSID that when people connect to it it's not web encrypted and it redirects them to your landing pages that you've set up. The second one that you see I keep calling private network it's just a universal name that I picked out and then I give it a number. That's the one I web encrypt and give it to the site owner or people or devices that I want to bypass Chili Spot and just go straight onto the internet without having to log in. And then this third one, which you see called Uplink, a lot of them say E is the default, but it could be A through F, but Uplink A, whatever. This is the transmitting signal that another repeater would be looking for in its preferred SSID list in Auto AP. All these repeaters are looking for signal uplink A through F. And so the next repeater down the line is going to hook to that. This one's putting out uplink C. The next repeater will hook to that, so these all daisy chain together and hook up automatically into one big network. And that network can be anywhere on the internet. I can have this server in one location in Oregon and send these to Florida, Maine, Spain, Italy, <laughs> wherever, and they go through the internet to the server get the username, see if that person's okay, communicate it back out and log them in and give the splash page and so forth. So that's a little, just a rundown of the how we distribute the network. Just to, I'll, I'll expand on those issues and subjects more and in depth later. But for now, this is a basic structure that we're going to set this up in. You could also just have a router right here and just plug one in as an access point tell it to be an AP transmitting only this is, could be in as small as a coffee shop running the free version 1.08 and there you go you've got your still run your whole business off the whole thing right there and just you could forget all of this but this is for people who want to distribute the signal through a hotel or literally through a whole city this is basically how I did it, and uh, that's why I came up with this convention. You could twist it up into your own convention, but I just developed this pattern, and I always say choose a convention and stick with it. doesn't matter how you make this pattern, just whatever pattern you make, follow it through all the way to the end and don't change somewhere in midstream. So that's... The overall system diagram so it's not that hard as you can see.